Hey guys, it's me Stormy and we have got a new moon coming up May 15th at 24 degrees of Taurus and I'm a Taurus so I'm pretty pumped about this new moon. <laughs> the new moon says that we get to plant these seeds of intention, new beginnings. It's the opening of a new cycle where we get to we get to start over. There's, you know, everything at the new moon just has light. It has life. It has opportunity behind it. And this new moon is absolutely no exception. Plus it is a springtime new moon and that is just sexy. Let's just be real about that. Now we've got some aspects that are happening around this moon this month that I think are phenomenal. One of those is that we've got Jupiter in a trying to Neptune, which could not be more expansively optimistic, generous, um, imaginative. It couldn't be any more of those things if we asked for it. So we've got a lot going on this month where you can set some really nice idealistic goals that yet are practical as well at this moon. And what I think I love more about it is that you set an idealistic goal and because Taurus is practical at this new moon, Taurus will be like, oh my God, that's so cute. We're not going to be able to do it that way, but I'll show you how to get it done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's like, that is not practical, but let me show you how it is going to be practical. So let's pull this up and let's talk about the aspects that we see uh, at this moon. So again, in case you're just visiting this channel for the first time or you've never really asked the question about what's happening at the new moon, the new moon is when the sun and the moon, as you see here, are conjunct. So this is new life. It's just fresh start, clean slate, new project, initiate things kind of energy. It's also a phenomenal time where I think we get to look at past and old habits, behaviors, beliefs, ideas, opinions, and see which ones are not working and are actually slowing us down on the road to get where we're trying to go. So you've got this energy for about four weeks until we get to the June 13th new moon. So use it, use it well, use this cycle beautifully well, okay? Now, as you can see here, we've got a couple aspects to talk about. So one of them that I think is the most uh, profound, honestly, that we've got going on here is that we've got this new moon in a trine to Pluto. So this is intense. We bring some intensity with it, right? Now, Pluto is naturally an opposite energy to Taurus's Venetian energy in the first place. So this is actually can create just a little bit of a struggle, even though it's in the trine. But where I think it actually becomes beautiful is that little bit of intensity given to this Taurin moon energy is telling you, you have the permission, the intensity, and the tools you need to make some kind of delicious transformation and move forward. You can use power of influence, not just inside of your own personal life, but are, are, do you have space? Do you have a big voice? You could be affecting your community, right? So if you've been feeling stuck, you've been feeling a little bit in the muck of things, this is a wonderful energy with this new moon trying Pluto to pull you out of it. Now, another great kind of shock you out of your space energy that I think is actually very good is that we see Mars in a square here to Uranus. Now, while this can bring a lot of excitement, a lot of spontaneity to the table, um, it does bring disruption. And sometimes we just need disruption to get out of the way. Now, of course, in a worldly view, this could bring violence in our world. It could bring that kind of disruption, but more so I feel like this is a wonderful energy for any kind of breakthrough, right? If you can avoid being super impulsive, this is a wonderful breakthrough. Now, what it can also do sometimes is create concentration issues. So, um, you know, and we've got Mars getting ready to go into its retrograde, so it's already slowing down. So if you can avoid needing to take on, you know, the project of the year during this month, instead try and go with the flow a little bit more. You know what I mean? Uh, I was married to someone once, and this is probably the only really great thing he said. Uh, he was from Kentucky, and he said, if it ain't broke, don't break it. So... <laughs> If it's not broke, don't don't go try to fix all the not broken stuff this month, okay? Now we see here that the new moon is also sitting in a semi-sextile to Venus, and this is very positive. This is great for relationships. You know, it's almost an energy where you're just kind of like, look, I'm willing to love you. I'm willing to let you love me. You may find yourself 
needing and wanting to be a little bit more um, affectionate and things like that. Or you may you maybe even find yourself wanting to take initiative in some kind of romantic relationship or something like that. So that's obviously very beautiful as well. Now, this other aspect that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that I think really, it's just, it's so beautiful. This Jupiter trying to Neptune, which really gets delicious and you'll hear it in my forecast um, when we get to May 25th. This is so hopeful. This is so, there's opportunity. There's spiritual opportunity here. There's a sense of charity. Um, things that have to do with the earth and creativity and music and children and elderly people. This could be something you definitely find yourself kind of having a heart for. Maybe even you're spending the day doing or giving back to someone or something like that. So it's going to be a really great energy, I think, as well, because we do have Mars square Uranus this month, and that could increase the risks of head injuries, accidents, issues, surprise things. And we're going to need a lot of selfless people to be rushing in and willing to give out a lot of help, a lot of charity, a lot of encouragement, faith, and things like that. So this is a wonderful new moon, supports a lot of idealistic, holistic, spiritual, creative approaches to things. So if you've been feeling in a little rut, know that this will pop you out a little, and it's okay to come at this from a completely different angle, okay? All right, you guys, I look forward to seeing what's happening for you in May, walking with you through May. Keep in mind that that Aries and Chiron um, personal video series is only available for a limited time and there's a limited number. So if you want one, I'm going deep in those videos and it's all based on your stuff. So click in the description box down below. Hope you join me for $3 Thursdays this month where we will be talking about transiting Chiron and Aries through the houses. So I look forward to seeing you this month, however we interact. And I'm sending you lots and lots and lots Lots of love. Oh, and happy birthday, Tauruses. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.